Water and Life Water covers 70.9% of the Earth's surface and is vital for all known forms of life. Water on Earth moves continually through a cycle of evaporation or transpiration, precipitation and runoff, usually reaching the sea. Evaporation and transpiration contribute to precipitation. The graph here shows the distribution of water on the Earth. Waste Water Treatment Plant Sewage is a municipal waste water containing large quantities of solid impurities, which are formed of suspended solids, colloidal compounds, dissolved materials, etc. Thus, it is passed to sewage treatment plants before it is supplied to our home. Treatment of sewage is completed in three steps. Primary treatment Mechanical screening and sedimentation of undissolved and stable solids in raw sewage is done, so it is passed through mesh screens of successively smaller pore sizes. After screening, the sewage is passed through a grit chamber to separate sand and small pebbles by sedimentation. It fails to remove any dissolved substance and the pathogens in water. Secondary or Biological Treatment Effluent of primary treatment is brought in contact with oxygen and aerobic microorganisms in an oxidation tank. They break down the organic matter into harmless materials as CO2 and H2O. Further, chlorination is done to kill the bacteria. Advanced Waste Management or Tertiary Treatment in this, salts like nitrates and phosphates are removed by precipitation technique. Water is now pure enough for human consumption. Sewage in our homes and outside Sewage from cities, towns and all other places should not be discharged directly into the rivers. It must be made harmless before release. Used cotton, tea leaves, sanitary towels, etc should be thrown in the dustbin and not in the drains. Wastes should be disposed of properly and not thrown just about anywhere. Sanitation and Diseases Sanitation is the hygienic means of promoting health through prevention of human contact with the hazards of wastes. Hazards can be either physical, microbiological, biological or chemical agents of disease. Wastes that can cause health problems are human and animal feces, solid wastes, domestic wastes, industrial wastes, and agricultural wastes. In the animation, the causes of diseases are shown.